welcome everyone here's the video with the um, February unboxing and I don't really know what's in it but well I think I remember that there should be at least um, a surprise well not a surprise but something from Dungeon Meshi or Dungeon Food, however you want to call it. And well, let's get to it, but before that, I don't know. This is the last box that I have for now. The March box is currently on its way, though it may take a while. And like, comment, and subscribe if you can, because it really helps. Now let's get to it. So, with the fact that I didn't exactly know what's in it, aside from Dungeon Meshi, well, there should be Dungeon Meshi because I could be wrong. Um, for this time I just wore uh, a shirt with a uh, Vitruvian Dwarf, basically. You'll see it better in the close-up later. Well, once I'm unpacking things and show it in front of the camera. Okay, so, uh, okay, there's something from, I think, Jujutsu Kaisen. Um, it's a loyalty bonus, basically, and it might be a magnet or something. Mm. Or is it from Chainsaw Man? We'll see. Oh. Okay, so apparently, yes, that's the box with Dungeon Meshi, but there's also Pokemon team things and maybe uh, Attack on Titan. Yes, there is a, something Attack on Titan based and it's the first thing damn it okay the, they packed things but didn't pack them um like before so i already i've already seen it the action figure that is from dungeon Mashi. but Let's get to the shopping bag of Attack on Titan. Exactly a sh oh. it's kind of a shopping bag, but you see, there's also these things so you can technically put it on your back. But I don't know, it would be kind of uncomfortable, I think. Um, there you have it. It's it's quite pretty and. inside the hole. There's nothing but it's a little less I think it's waterproof but I cannot tell and it's a little less heavy than than the uh, 
I remember the, the doctor's done shopping bag that they gave us. Uh, a few months before, can't exactly remember when, but I remember that I have it. Um, wait a second, there should be a pamphlet explaining things, but it's probably on the bottom of the box. And uh, okay. And I'm spoiling myself everything. There, there. Found it. So, okay. Okay, canvas backpack. This both cool and practical canvas backpack is the perfect accessory for fans of Attack on Titan, featuring the iconic Explosion Battalion logo on one side and a beautiful visual from the anime on the other. Um, it lets you change style in the blink of an eye. I guess that's true. Lightweight and versatile, it's the perfect companion for all your daily activities or gym session after you've eaten the delicious curry from your box. Because yes, apparently one of the theme things is the curry in the shape of Rilakkuma. And basically you can see it here. It will come out like this, but I don't know. I mean, it's, I'm not sure how you will do it. And the instructions are in Japanese, but uh, it's, Let's see. Hello Kitty or Rilakkuma Rice Mold. Did you enjoy the little touch of cuteness in the last month's box? Good news, the Japanese kawaii characters are back this month to make your curry even cuter. It's a little kit for making curries featuring a character, either Hello Kitty or Rilakkuma with a mold for the rice and other ingredients. You can follow the instructions on the photos of the, on the side of the box. Apparently that's all you need. Then, okay. Then we have this thing that I have no idea what it is. So we're gonna read a bit. I think it's something you cook, judging from the from the instructions. And nope, I cannot make a guess. Let's see. Japanese curry curry roux. Okay. Bring the authenticity of Japanese cuisine to your table with this curry roux. This easy to prepare blend of spice and ingredients provides the perfect base for con concocting a delicious Japanese curry. The comfort dish is so beloved by ja all Japanese, ideal for a family meal or for a relaxing event out. Curry is a staple of Japanese cuisine. To enjoy an exquisite curry, don't hesitate to follow the recipe Ooh, recipe card we've made for you. Um, I haven't found the recipe card yet, but uh, I guess we'll get to it soon. Oh, wait, maybe yeah, it's in here. 
Yes. Yep. There you have it. It's the instruction for carry and for the mold as well. So. Mm. I would like to try this one day, but I'm not sure. Uh, I'm really not sure. Because, you know, I, I'm not sure about carry either, but it's okay. Okay, there's a letter. Hello, as Neon Box celebrates his ninth anniversary, we wanted to express our deepest gratitude. Your loyalty and passion for Japanese culture are true driving forces and a great source of motivation for us. Each box is a real challenge for us. The entire team mobilized every month to transform the opening of each box into a unique and memorable moment for our subscribers. Whether you have been supporting us for a few months or for some, several years your enthusiasm is precious to us and help us write a new chapter of our story month after month in this special year on the cusp of a decade we will continue to do everything we can to surprise you and bring you a touch of japan directly to your home a big thank you for being part of this wonderful adventure and the neon box community to make this occasion, we have included a postcard inspired by Japanese regional postcards. We hope you will like it. We decided to write these notes separately so that you can use the card as you please. See you soon, Tomoko, Charles, and the entire Neon Box team. That's, that's nice. And the postcard, um, I do believe, this one which is very cute, and I'm not going to write something on it, on the back. That's cute. So, what we have left is the Fidelity box thing to open. That... Okay, it's... It's a little harder to open than I have imagined. And... Ah, the glue... The glue is getting to it. So... Okay, I don't exactly know how to use it. Because it's like this thing. And there is an adjustable thing here. So you can kind of put it like, like this, I guess. But, you know, there's also, um, I can't remember how it's called, this thing. Now it makes me... So I suppose there's at least another use to that. And let me see if they... Nope. They haven't said about the fidelity thing wasn't on the pamphlet because I guess it goes to just some that are mm, subscribed by months at least by some months okay there's a Tokyo Revenger thing I haven't started watching it yet and I've been passing this gift to a friend of mine that loves it. No, oh, the glue. It's pretty heavily glued. Okay. 
Ah. I think I'll... a true collector would make it without breaking the box. But I didn't. So, <laughs> okay, we have this one. It's very soft at the touch. Um, it's also rather cute, but you see, there's also these details of the um, suspenders, I guess, from the trouser, from the trousers. So. I don't know who he, who he is, but it's cute. Then let's see what we have. This will save it for the last object. Okay, we have a spoon. A spoon for ramen, generally, and it's from Studio Ghibli. There's, uh, you can see here, it should be from Totoro. And there's, it says it there, Studio Ghibli. So, let's see what the pamphlet will say about it. My neighbor, neighbor Totoro Renge. Here's the perfect accessory to add the Japanese touch to your meals. This magnificent Ghibli official Renge, official Renge spoon inspired by my neighbor Totoro and adorned with a cherry blossom. A Susu Watari and little Totoro is perfect to accompany your Pokemon curry plate. It's also the perfect part partner for soups and ramen, making every bite even more delicious. See, I knew it was for ramen. I didn't thought about... I didn't thought about uh, curry. And I don't think you can see it clearly, but it says there's a miniature Totoro, which is this one. Nope, it won't focus. Okay. Okay, we have another thing before getting to the before getting to the action figure. And this thing is upside down. It would seem so. Nope, it wasn't. Or it was. It's cute, it's a plate. A Pokemon themed plate. Well, Pikachu and I, uh, Pikachu and Eevee themed. It's very nice. They gave you the whole set to to do the curry. And add a touch of Japanese charm to your table with this small Pokemon curry plate. Adorn it with traditional Chiyogami motifs. It features a delicate <clears throat> a delicate purely Japanese design subtly featuring Pikachu and Eevee. 
You can use it to cook the curry, including in this box. If you've been in my uh, Neon Box subscriber for a while, this piece goes perfectly with the Pokemon Rice Bowl from the 2023 February box, which I don't have because I subscribed on March. And I nearly broke the thing. Oops. So let's get it here. And now we're to the we're down to the last thing. Which is from Dungeon Meshi, the main character that now which now his name escaped me because I was hoping for Senshi actually. But Let's see. Okay. At least we don't have to cut the tape on the thing, basically, because it slides right off. Oh, it's actually no assembly required. It just... Okay. There's an opening. It's actually very detailed. I want to show it up close. See, even the chain mail, basically. I don't know if you can see it up close, but it's they kind of did the little rings for the chainmail, so it's very good. I don't think there were other characters available. Ooh! That's... It's not the best day for me to do with this thing. These things. Okay. So let's see. Let's see what's it what it does it say about this um, delicious in dungeon Leos noodles topper figure. Immerse yourself in the world of delicious in dungeon. Okay. Here it's called actually in another way. Delicious in dungeon. Dungeon Meshi with this new figurine from the Noodle Stopper Ranch, representing Laios, the courageous knight and main character of the manga. If you're not yet familiar with this original work, the anime has just started in Japan and is available on Simulcast platform, so it's the perfect time to discover it. Delicious in Dungeon takes you on an adventure, comic humor, combining, sorry about that, Humor, magic, and extraordinary epics, all sprinkled with gourmet moments. We just love it. And that's pretty much it. I had started watching Dungeon Meshi a while ago, then I stopped for a while. And I gotta say that my favorite character so far is Meshi. Oh, no, not Meshi. Senshi. But you know. It's a pretty, a pretty new figure here. So that's great. I hope I'll see you in the next video and thank you for watching. Bye.